Welcome to my channel. This is Muldi. So today's lesson will be looking at the vector questions and how you can answer them and also the methods which you can use to answer vectors. So this is physics 101. So the first question asks to find the vector for A and those are the magnitude, then the angle and also the positive x-axis where it lies. Then for vector B, that is a magnitude also and also then it is along what? The negative x-axis. Then the method which asks to find this is using what? The graphical method. The other method is what? A comp component method like these other two questions so what you need to understand about graphical method is that you need to answer the question on your graph paper so before you even do that you need to know what they mean if they say the positive x-axis or the negative x-axis so what it means is that uh, x positive x-axis means that you're moving in the clockwise direct and clockwise direction in finding your angle like this one then for the other one if they say the negative meaning that your angle is moving where in the clockwise direction like this angle here or based on what quadrants so I haven't answered these questions i haven't finished it i'll post it in my other video so no wonder you need to subscribe to my video to my channel so that you do not miss out whenever i post a new video so just take some time click the, not the notification button and the subscription uh button so that you do not miss out so looking at question two now you need to find the vectors on your art on using the component method so before we go in looking at the questions i want to just you to understand these few concepts which help you to do it to understand what i'm talking about so things are not seen like they are just moving the x-axis or on the y-axis only but in this case things are moving either in that direction or in that direction neither x or y in this direction so meaning that you need to solve this in terms of what components so like for instance let's take this vector so meaning that what is your y component this side and what is your x component this side so what you need to know this side is just the same as uh, for instance that side this side there where i've drawn dots or this side is just the same as what this side so no wonder you need to know no wonder it depends whether the angle is moving in the clockwise direction or the angle is moving what in the clockwise direction because these two triangles are what similar then in terms of components like for instance this is x to be taken as x it's not seen as x no no it's seen to be what uh r cos theta r depends with what you have here i've just chosen r to be the result and it depends with the result and here that is your r here then for the y is seen to be what r is sine theta here from where these are trig ratios as you can see here then when you want to find your angle you just use tan theta y over x because this will help you to give you the direction or the angle which you're looking for then for you to find r just use this formula for Pythagoras theorem it will help you to find the what the resultant and always square them once you find your answer then that's use the square root don't cancel out the square root you know it will come out wrong this r is not the same as the x plus y no it's not the same so note that many people make this mistake to be taking r to be in this form it's not the same always know that it's not the same then now let us look at the question now so that uh, you know how you can answer your question when you ask so like the first question asked to find the components for x and y then the vector is given the magnitude to be that one and also the direction here as you can note it is positive so meaning that it is what moving into the anticlockwise direction so if you were to show this it will look like this on the diagram so since there the, my magnitude is not defined i can just say it to be what to be d or any letter which you feel like so then i use the components i know that my d component is the same as what that then for the x for the y it is that so for x now i know my d what it is I just replace with it with that then my angle i know to be what it is 56 then i just punch this on the calculator to come out like that same with y so uh how can you prove now if your answers are correct so i know my d i take it as if i don't know it then i just prove these numbers i put i replace them as if i'm looking for the resultant which is d then it came out like that meaning that the answer is what correct then moving to the other question uh, in this case we are given the components then we are asked to do what to find the magnitude the angle is not given and also the direction for the vector a so always start with what a default one a default diagram because here we don't know your angle but you only know the components so how do you show that you just show it like this any and always take your x-axis uh be consistent like for me i just take it like the way it normally is so no wonder you're seeing me my a going this side because that's where the negative is because zero it is here then if i go this side it is negative if i go this side it's positive they are positive they are negative like the normal one be consistent but you find that it won't be like this but this one it helped me to find my questions to answer my questions so like in this case my a so i find my result and using this formula then it came out to be 10. then now i want to know my angle so i'll use for the turn then i just replace my ax there and my ay there because it is known 
once I do that and it came out to be what and as you noticed I've also put the negative that it came out to be negative 9.1 so meaning that this angle is moving where in the clockwise direction so if I were to show this it will look like this like this diagram here in yellow going this side then now the angle for a now it is this now the vector for a then y it is in this direction because this and that is one and the same like i had explained earlier on so don't be confused because the angle is like that you know this side so always you can check out this